You guys want to see some ridiculous Lego creations? Well, you came to the right place. We recently visited Bricks Cascade, which is a local convention here in Portland, Oregon. It features a bunch of groups called Adult Fans of Lego, and it's all people putting in all kinds of different builds and stuff that they have like that, and then kind of just meeting together as a community and exchanging tips with each other and you know casually voting on things for bragging rights, as far as I can tell. What we're gonna do is show you some of our mm -hmm. favorite things. Now- We saw tons of cool yeah, stuff. Yeah, you, you guys are looking at one that's won plenty of awards here. This is a steampunk castle. It's mm -hmm. called like the Water Garden it's and also- Metal the, Beards. Yeah, Metal Beards something. something. It, metal Beard is from the Lego movie, uh, but this is a, like a giant stronghold that they built. The amount of detail that's in every different part of this, the mm. gargoyles on the wall, there's yep. really ridiculous detail on the water. There's stuff everywhere, turrets, you know, like sails. Moving pieces. There's a full-on carnival. Mm -hmm. um, look at that, the train. Yep. One of the things that I really liked about a lot of the models was the water effects on stuff. Yeah. All the that use of like blue and transparent pieces and everything like that. It was really cool how they made all these different water effects with them. I thought that was really rad. The Wild West Village here looks pretty cool. Oh, the steampunk Wild West Village. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the bordello. Yep. The Lego bordello. This is the set that Lego will never make. Oh well, just too much fun. Yep. You have to cut it off at some too point. Too much right? creativity. Yeah. All right, let's go over and take a look at some of the space stuff. Uh, this is sort of a in between or mm -hmm. segueing through them with this, you know, the dragon smile. It's a uh, very steampunk. That one's pretty cool, but let's move on over here and look at the aurora. Oh, the aurora piece was neat. That one was huge, ridiculous. Mm -hmm. The amount of pieces in these. I mean, you guys, if if you've seen the, um, I guess the Imperial Star Destroyer, but like I'm talking the big set with thousands of pieces. These yeah. are bigger than that. Like th these like, guys. I mean, this set right here. That one's pretty. That one's pretty. This is large. almost a thousand pieces right here. And some of these are thousands and this, of that, pieces. That ship, the Aurora ship, is like thousands. Probably as big as this table. Yeah, it and then the Virginia huge. also. Yeah. Work in progress for many mm -hmm. years. Now a lot of people would just build like one of these little things. This guy built the Virginia here, and mm -hmm. the inside it holds multiple ships that he's he's you know designed and built. Uh, in the front of this ship, he built this whole docking station like a launch that area. actually had. Uh, Technic pieces in it that would move and close in on things when it docked into the ship properly. So Super duper cool. Launch right out of there. Yeah. There was other ones where the guys made with like little tiny snub fighters and stuff. So it was like, oh, this is supposed to be a gigantic battle cruiser releasing all these little teeny tiny ships. Yeah. This, oh, this was so cool. So now we're looking at the uh, some of the old school pieces being used again. Now we have the Blacktron pieces, the original Space Police and that sort of thing. Some all of the old blue and grays. Yeah, and Lego stuff from the and 80s yellow. and early 90s. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the Blacktron yeah. stuff. I really miss Lego's original IP when it comes to the space stuff. Oh, yeah, I didn't say it. I didn't it, say it. Yeah. <laughs> Almost Lego's Lego's original IP. Did we even talk about that too? That was an apostrophe. Yeah. Okay. You I know what? said no apostrophe S's either. Oh, they're going to get an apostrophe S. Yeah. Okay. This right here was a group's reimagining of the Blacktron and Space Police original sets. So they took some of the sets and used some of their original builds and some of the original instructions and then made cool modifications on top of them, which is really neat. Oh, well, the, the Ice Planet one? Yeah, the, yeah. the translucent orange. Mm -hmm. That's freaking awesome. This guy's a master at building Lego sets that have curves. What the hell is this? That is the Shadow Caster is what the name of that was. But he actually, they, we should say, managed to actually build all these curves right into Lego, uh, which is pretty impressive considering that normally they're made to be rank and file block pieces. This guy who built it, if you walked up and asked him how he was able to do that, he wouldn't be like, oh, sorry, trade secret. It's more just like, oh, you wanna learn how to do curves and stuff like that? Let me show you, friend. And they're all about just spreading the, the you know, their ideas and stuff off to other people. It's right. really cool. And this one here also has the curves. And he also is, is one of the, the guys who, like some of them will have like smooth, uh, they would, they'll put the smooth pieces all mm -hmm. on the outside so that it doesn't have the, you know, the typical Lego the bumpy, finish. bumpy yeah. finish. And he he was a master at that. Uh, next up we got Zorak here. Yep. <laughs> the battle suit Zorak or yeah, battle machine. Yeah, uh, MD, uh, was it? Uh, yeah, mechanical. Yeah, MDF Zorak. Yeah. So this giant praying mantis that's clearly of named after Zorak. Zorak. <laughs> Yes, well, I don't remember. And then you just had all manner of yep. you know different things. There all was the all place. kinds. Of, one of the other things that they had all these mechanical bugs that they built that were built to be the size of like you know an actual rhino stag beetle or something like that. Um, and they had those hidden everywhere the place, throughout yeah. the convention. So you'd go through and you'd see this thing, and then there'd be a little bug tapped the corner all over the place. It was really neat. All right, so the lumberjack village. Now this one's neat mm -hmm. because you know up top mm -hmm. you've got your really really nicely designed trees, mm -hmm. and you've got your you know your 
your hangar, sort of a barn hangar, mm. farmhouse type thing, some trucks and all this stuff, and then so mechs. Cool. Mechs. You go below yep. the surface and they're building mechs. There's like these giant garages. Mm -hmm. So everywhere they had them, they had them sort set, set out by kind of what genre they would be. So there was like the mech genre, right. and then there was like castles and pirates genre. So it would so it was neat to see like a lumber community here, but done with mechs and stuff. Who the fuck? A lumber yeah. community in this part of the world? Super detailed. Yeah. I love this one that's flying. He said mm. it was an old helicopter kit. That guy flying right there is a city helicopter kit that they modded without adding any extra pieces, I believe he was saying. Modded. And then some really cool giant bugs. Yep. I think Zorak would beat both of those. Uh, that's, that tarantula is pretty awesome. The little levers. Those are so hard. To, it's hard to get. He, I'm sure he had to order all of them. People have so much more patience than I do for things like this. Now, I, love it. I know a lot of you guys are into Technic. I'm more into the creative mm -hmm. stuff. The Technic stuff that is fun. The, the better one. But yeah, the, you guys need to see this uh, Goldberg yeah. machine. Man, Moving. if Mousetrap was that cool. Yeah. If Mousetrap actually worked. <laughs> It's just a box yeah. for broken pieces. So unfortunately, it was kind of sad because there's this other dude next to this thing. He had a nice, nice yeah, machine. Yeah, he had a really cool Technic machine on top of everything, but it was kind of like, uh, don't look at the one to my right first. You know, check this one out quickly. I mean, this one's really cool too. It's neat, but it just kind of the one on the left got is like overshadowed. Well, the one by. on the left is just like the best I've ever seen. Yeah. One of the other options that they had was battle, where they would just show big battlescapes of different things. So mm -hmm. you would see stuff like Star Wars scene redone. Otherwise, it was just reimagined things. So anywhere from like fantasy battles to future tech battles, it was just kind of everywhere. Yeah, there's a lot of giant that ships. giant ship that then was later dwarfed by the actual giant ship that someone built out of Legos. <laughs> Yeah, that's that, Lego. I thought that Lego. Would... I built on Lego. Sorry, we got it. We got it. We got a talking to. So if you guys don't know in the community here, it's Lego. The plural of Lego is Lego, not Legos, not anything like that. It's just Lego. Yeah, and they were even very particular about like you don't mm -hmm. say that that building belong is is, or yeah. is Lego's building. You say like that is a Lego building mm -hmm. or those are the Lego buildings. Yep. But it's not. Those are Lego's buildings. They didn't. Even, they didn't even like that yeah. with the plural. I was like, well, I'm gonna do the posture. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't like any sort of. Anytime they added an S to it, they said that they would. They would at people when they made the S. The, the S at the end. I was of like, why don't you just punch them in the face and yeah. get it over with? <laughs> well, this one and the steampunk one were both really cool, but I like this genre better. Mm -hmm. This is Logan's Castle. Like I went around. Yeah. I was like. Cool. It's, they did. It's freaking awesome. So they were not catering to Logan at all. It just happened to be named Logan's Castle. I was just trying to get my one vote out of all the thousands yeah, of people right. over there. There it is. I was just trying to get my one vote. So you have like. The, but this has. You have the long boats coming everything. in. Everything. It's got forest scenes. It's got a castle scene. It's got all kinds of little bits and pieces all mixed in through. It's got a whole army on the you side. Invade, you know, you get like a you know, attack coming in here. Archers um, up here on the parapets. Yep. This forest scene is beautiful. You got the fall leaves. You got the you know the regular green. God. Leaves. So You've got cool. the really awesome detail with the water bridge. God, this this was this place yep. was awesome. Catapults, mm. um, and then you come all the way back over to the other side across the water. I love the effect of the boat going through the water. You mm. can see like the the froth kicking up. They did a hell of a job with the different pieces to make the mm. froth and everything. Um, you know, stuff going on in the, every single window. Orcs, wizards, just yep. all kinds of crazy. Doing the magic, on. the dwarves over there with the hobbits and right. everything. We got a we got a like, forested mountain here. So and just beneath. look at that forest scene right there. Yeah. Like, how long do you think it would take them to build just this, let alone all of that? Got the windmill on top, like, and then below that, Jesus. Below that, you've got just sort of a loot area filled with dwarves and loot and, and, and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, dwarves and hobbits. Hor hob Horbits. So a whole and a halfling ridiculous fantasy scene here. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the coolest things there at the show for sure. Mm -hmm. But then right beside that we had Helm's Deep. Yes, someone redid the castle scene from Helm's Deep. Castle. Oh, this one I really liked. The the Wolfpack Tower. Wolfpack here. Tower. I really like this because the they some people did really cool stuff with like energy blasts and you know kind of like crazy movement energy attacks right. and things like this so these people this person like made all this cool like person shooting fire out of everywhere and they're all looping and twirling and stuff and they used the clear pieces to make it look like they were hovering and yep. shooting the fire so yeah, here's another really neat fire one from magisto's magical workshop and then yeah. they also did the really cool effects with the explosions here on the mm -hmm. sides of these boats yeah that's that's weird so it looks like cannons cannonballs mid-firing like with boom. all the different explosions and they the the other thing too is that if you look really closely here they to different levels of explosions like it's not they weren't all just the same piece every pieces every single time there were some that were just like just starting some that were completely right. fired you know it was so you're catching the the the, the action yeah. in mid in so mid motion neat. so lots of cool pirate stuff mm -hmm. and then we had uh, this really cool <sighs> pirate village yep a pirate village has everything from cranes 
Um, all to, those old yeah. island castle Lego areas. Sets. Yeah, they, they've put those them all together so into cool. one beautiful, mm. massive island. And then they just fill the seas with pirate ships. There's the uh, the navy. Yep. Yep. There we go. This guy had Smaug's Keep, and then outside he had all the forest and everything. Mm. There's the dragon. But if you look at the forest, the amount of detail he put into this, this one tree out there in the front looks goofy, uh, you know, because it's like a full on set. It's like a duplo tree in the middle. It's like a whatever. <laughs> duplo tree out front. Eh. You got yeah, the dude did a really good job with all the rest of his trees yeah. and parrots and everything like Lots that. Lots of really cool tree work from people. Mm -hmm. Like their landscaping was really cool. Yeah, I like the, the use mm -hmm. in a lot of the trees in the Hobbit one here. This is the. Uh, the barrel scene from The Hobbit, just all the from their wacky adventures. Yeah, <laughs> this I like the fall. The I don't want to talk about the Hobbit movies, but these are really cool. What's the name oh of yeah, the with scene? all the like ramshackle tiles yeah. on the houses and everything, and all the uneven stuff, mm -hmm. the sets of weapons everywhere, just the guy fishing in the water there, just tons of cool little details. There, the butterfly house. Yeah. Butterfly house? Yeah, right. Murderfly house. Look yeah. at all the so, tre treachery going on so in this pink and purple this nightmare pink world. Pink and purple one, when you first walk by it, you're like, okay, it's got butterflies on it. Oh, that's cute. You know, whatever. And then you get up close and you see it's like Amazon warrior women destroying like this invading army and there's all these like giant butterflies that they're built for war on it's and stuff all over yeah. the place. It's awesome. Oh, here's the... the so Ninjago. this is the Ninjago castle, which probably cooler than any Ninjago said that actually ever existed. Yep. Um, but you can see all the like green swirlies and stuff on the screen there, but they made all these really cool energy effects so it looks like they're just like Dragon Ball Z charging up with energy and... <laughs> Yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, the, the way they look, and they're jumping across the water here. The water yep. effects are also really nice. The waves splashing and stuff. Mm -hmm. The ninja there doing. He, he's like doing a. Looks like he's, you, your brain can see him doing a 360 just because of the way they put it together. So yeah, really a lot of creativity going on there. So we mentioned that 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 big ship. Oh yeah, here's and then the we ship. saw the big ship, the USS Missouri. Yep. I, I couldn't even get back far enough to get the entire thing into the shot. It's, it's just huge. It just, it just goes and goes and goes. Yeah, I don't know how long did it take him to build this and how many freaking gray pieces were in that? That thing's gonna have 200 pieces. Uh, I would guess easily 20,000. Easily. Probably more than that. Yeah, probably a lot more. Probably, probably closer to a million. I don't know. That thing's huge. A million? 20,000 million? A million, million? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. There's so many fucking pieces in this thing. And Superman's on there, and that's the kids in the video are freaking out because Superman's on it. Yeah, we're they look at this giant impressive ship, and all they can do is go, "Oh, Superman!" <laughs> Raise your kids right. Yeah, <laughs> tell them to respect scale replicas of things. Yeah, especially the Jesus. USS Missouri battleship. It's the Burning Man Blacktron. Yeah, so someone used the Blacktron sets to make a Burning Man costume. And I don't guess they were allowed to wear it there. There's also the uh, the pop culture section. So yeah, move on. Got, pop like, Rick and Morty, section. the Butter Robot. Yep. There's some Venture Brothers back there. Princess Bride. They labeled it Stick of Butter so he's not just holding yellow. <laughs> <laughs> but this was one of my favorites because it made me kind of feel like I was a kid again. Vanilla Ice. Yeah, with the it's the scene from the end of the second Ninja Turtles movie where Vanilla Ice sings Go Ninja Go Ninja Go and they all do the Ninja Turtles dance while they're like fighting Toka and Razor. If you have not, if you did not see those movies when you were a kid, and you watch it now, you'll realize some things and be yeah. like, "Hold on a minute, <laughs> yeah, fun go fact. ninja, go ninja, go" is actually not cool, but yeah. it is in when I remember how I felt when I first saw it, right? Yeah, you got so pumped and you were like, "No, Ice is the coolest! Oh my god, he's the biggest star in the world right now!" When they when they shot that, he kind of was. Is One that, of the things about Ninja Turtles two oh. though is. They got they caught like a bunch of, of flack from the first movie. So if you watch the movie closely, you'll notice that at no point in time do any of the Ninja Turtles actually draw any of their weapons to use on people. Really? Yes. Wow. Because 90s parents were like, this is unacceptable. I don't want kids to think that they can solve all their problems by drawing a weapon and hitting people. But I bet they so, eat a lot of pizza, don't they? Oh yeah, it's pizza. And guess stuff. what kills more people in America? <laughs> Is it gonna be nunchucks or pizza? Uh, so yeah, there's a Stranger Things uh, that one's thing there neat. with the the whole yeah. the shadow world and everything. That was pretty cool. The upside down. Yeah, the upside down or yeah, whatever they call it. It's again, the right? shadow world, right? It's it's straight out of D and D. Yeah. Castle Grayskull. Mm -hmm. That was a uh, something that I mean, not a lot. There's not a lot in pop, pop culture that makes me too excited, but Castle Grayskull because I love epic cheese mm -hmm. from the '80s. It's just. Um, Do I look like I know what a drink is? Oh my is? god, I didn't even catch that one before. What? This one that says My Little Buttercup, that's the scene from Three Amigos. Oh, holy shit. Oh my god, I didn't even catch that one when we were there. And there's Judge Dredd. Judge fucking Dredd. Sort of, sort of a mosaic. 
Yeah. Totoro, it's it's everywhere you go. There's gonna be a Totoro. Yeah, there's tons of Vault Boys everywhere. Deadpool, Deadpool's and just yep. Oh, there's Deadpool was all over the place. I don't know. It's it's the scene in The Force Awakens, the new movie, where they go to see the person who's obviously to replace Yoda or whatever. Yeah, math. It's a yeah. Yoda job of replacement. Like we'll get two but, characters in one. But so that place where Kylo Ren inv invades and then it all starts falling. It's been there for thousands of years and it's basically just a glorified super bar. But it was super that. duper cool and they made lots of really neat little effects on it and everything and it's very large and impressive. Yeah, it was a it was a hell of a, a nice set. Mm -hmm. I'm not too wild about all the pop culture -y stuff other than like the Great Castle Grace Call, but this was, this was a hell of a set. It's Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones was cool. Most of it was from the second movie. I was noticing that most of them from uh, mm -hmm. I think the first movie, but this is from the second movie, the bridge scene, mm -hmm. and then we also have the the, the rail ride or whatever the mine car yep. mine uh, cart Indy. ride. Oh, this was the superhero section. I'm bored already. That's the Weapon X facility. Yeah, right there. Ghost Rider looked pretty good because they put LEDs in his mm -hmm. skull with some translucent orange yep. like, pieces for his head to make it look like flames, and then so these guys built. Hey, there's another Deadpool. Yep. Oh wow, no. Oh, way. Look, there's another Deadpool. Oh my goodness, Deadpool. He's so such an obscure character. I can't believe people even know about him. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So the superhero so, stuff, yeah, whatever. That guy. That guy built tons of different. Marvel characters, all hey, with the classic yellow skin. Respect for that. Yep. So don't oh, this was from Justice League Dark. All right, so Justice League Dark. Yep, Justice League Dark. After the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man in that same video. Pretty so good I series. don't know anything about Justice League, but I guess you said it was good, right? I'd recommend I'd recommend reading it. It's worth, it's a worthwhile read if you like the DC Universe stuff. How's the Lego thing? This is pretty neat, actually. <laughs> Except yeah. that guy in the that background. <laughs> Here's the Batcave with narration by some kid. No, every, a lot of kids ask me, I really like to, I wish Batman's playing flute, but it just doesn't. And it would be safe if it did. Well, it'd be cool if it did, but you know what? Since it's not a, It's gonna crash. That's right. Unless you could make a real life Lego Batman this year. That'd be tough to do. Why not just put Batman in there? Well, he's in there. All right, trains. I actually liked Lego trains a lot, but I I just never had. Um, it was when it came down to like the end of the year. I was like, I could get like five or six of these space sets, or like one or two trains. I was like, oh, mm. damn it, screw the trains. I'm getting the space sets. So it's really cool to be able to come here and just see a gazillion trains. This place was very well trained. The the TriMet cart that they made that was kind of neat. The Max right, the Max carts that they made there. That was cool because it was like, oh, I ride those. Oh, wow, I can identify with this. But otherwise, eh, it are... gives me a feeling. Do you want to be on that? No. You're a little Lego person with Not if I hands. had the option to be on a spaceship. And, and no neck. Wouldn't mm. you just wish you had no neck and could be spaceship. on that? Spaceship. All right, this, this had a cool train, but this is a Canadian village mm. completely full of snow and a beautiful train running around it very fast. That's dangerous velocities. Not in Canada. <laughs> oh, hey. dear. Oh, sorry. Yeah, well, sorry. Sorry. Is that racist? I don't know. So you've got everything from a polar bear drawn sled to um, the Ice Queen. There. Ice Queen over there, yeah. yeah. There's so many, so many little details mm -hmm. in this Canadian village, all 100% accurate. You guys have never been to Canada, right? No one, no one watches from Canada because it's only snow and polar bears there. <laughs> they have polar bears there, right? And seals and uh, penguins. No one else lives and there. And elk. Elk. Yeah. There's uh, Canada's Moose. where all the <laughs> everything here is true. Uh, mm -hmm. Moving right along. So more snow stuff. We had um, a Ninjago tower, and it's not really snow, just a. Um, you know, a tunnel for the train. There's another mm -hmm. train tunnel, but they put a Ninjago tower on top of it. Mm -hmm. That one was pretty cool. All right, so there was, I know you guys have been waiting the entire time. Is going to talk about technology? Are you going to talk about technology? Yes, they did have a PC from eight years ago Woo! with a GTX 560 and an i5, and I believe it's an Asus motherboard mm -hmm. and some DDR with LEDs and all that stuff. Uh, DDR3, I believe. Made there, to there look like the office from the IT crowd, nonetheless. How about that? Those Lego uh, guys are just standing around waiting to melt on top of that motherboard when it gets nice and hot. Yeah, right. Oof. Uh, Lego can seem to seem to withstand it. Now, this guy also decided to build a DVD duplication tower because I guess back when he built these things, that's still something you did instead of just using a hard drive. Anyway, <laughs> pirate radio. Back in the dark ages. Yeah, back in the ages of physical media. <laughs> what is physical I had media? To listen to compact discs like a caveman. <laughs> I had to change every ten songs or so. Sometimes it would skip if you didn't hold it level. Above and beyond it being a you know a computer with a stack of drives doing duplication on the side of it. Yep, all up and down the uh, side of the video, all up and down the side of the pirate radio thing. There were little rooms with all kinds of interesting activity. 
So that's in the second half yep. of this thing. And this is a motherboard assembly line. Yeah, the motherboard assembly line really reminded me that of like cool. some of the stuff we saw in Taiwan at the E Data Factory and also like the Gigabyte Factory. A couple more cool space sets. These are mm -hmm. all right, you know, like smaller space sets. I like some of the design on uh, yeah these Colonial Battleship and yep. uh, and fighters. And I, I, I like the style of these. You know, the style of the the ships that he was building. They didn't just have you know the the I guess creative new things. Mm -hmm. They also had some old uh, creations on display, or just some some old sets from like the uh, 80s, 70s. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you guys are wondering, this is what I grew up with, like the things you're looking at right here. I mostly had the space stuff, but I did have a lot of like the police station, that mm -hmm. hospital. That That's like, if you would have come into my room, you would have seen those things on the floor. Uh, almost everything there was like, that was like my floor. So it was kind of weird like city. walking through and being like, holy crap, it's my floor. There's the wizard stopping a car in the middle of the street on mm -hmm. Main Street Redo. All this stuff. This is where Lego came from. These very basic, simple, and, you know, interesting sets. Back before their masks had visors even. They were just, I mean, they were just holes with a mask yep. out. You know, you had to use your imagination. Okay, so this airplane here that we've panned over to. Airplane made in the 80s, right? So it came with, I think, I'm not sure if it came with a set. I think it was a standalone airplane. Mm. So this airplane, I used to, I, I rebuilt this thing probably 80 times because what I would do is that the, the whole top of it like lifts open. I would fill it full of as many Lego uh, bricks as possible, people, different body parts, heads. I'd pull their little arms off and stuff. And then I would slam it into the ground and it would go, and I'd be like, <laughs> and run around picking up all the heads and legs and arms and stuff. Definitely not a serial killer. <laughs> nope. So, I, hey, I'm on the, um, I'm on the TSA pre-check list. That's a long video about Bricks Cascade. It's for the people who really care about Lego. And, like us. Uh, you know, really want to get creative. And uh, for all the rest of the people who don't, they're not watching anymore. Hey! It's just us. <laughs> we have 10 people. We got a few Lego sets. Maybe we'll put a list of them up on the website. I'm gonna and you do can a tell cool us high speed builds of things. Yeah, you can yeah. tell us which one you want us to build next. We'll do it on the crit show. I want to build this one next. Really bad. You want to build that one? I want to build the Black Sea. I really want to build this one. Black Sea, oh, that one's, that one's, this is a newer set that's kind of hard to find. And I just recently picked up the Black Sea Barracuda, which is a set from the, I believe the late 80s, early 90s. It, like it that, was like, yeah. you know, the pirate ship. It was the freaking pirate ship. And it was like the one set that I wanted, but I couldn't have because it was expensive. Mm. And I was like, nope, you can't have it. So I finally like sold uh, yeah, grandmother one. and bought it. All these are our Lego. These are our Lego. Look at these Lego. Look at this Lego. Now look at this Lego. Look at all these Lego together to form one Lego. Hmm. Buy t-shirts, please. Buy. They're Legopotomize. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.